2011, Mark was working a typical office job, nine to five job downtown, and he was kind of getting tired of that. And you know, he he had his compassion for food and eating and cooking. I kind of worked my way up in some kitchens. I worked started as a dishwasher, worked my way up to management. Um, and I was working at a uh, Asian restaurant at the time, and Mark had just called me up in the middle of the shift and just asked me if I wanted to open a Filipino food truck. And then uh, three months later, we opened up Be More Pacific in Austin, Texas. I'm Mark Pasqual. I'm Javon Kitchipin. And we own Be More Pacific, Filipino kitchen and bar. Filipino food has just been underrepresented. We're the uh, second largest Asian population in America, and no one knows what our food is. As uh, Filipinos become, you know, first and second generation here in the States, what I've noticed is that just people just don't cook Filipino food anymore. And you kind of talk about the possibility of our food getting lost down the line because nobody's cooking it. We grew up eating this food. This is comfort food to us and we know it's good. It's one of the things that, that drives us to try to educate everybody on what Filipino food is. There's thousands of islands that make up the Philippines and then that in addition to um, you know, somebody's mother or grandma or tita, tito. There's just thousands upon thousands of ways to cook. Yeah, you make adobo chicken for your grandma or mother, they will always tell you to do something to it. But, okay, tell me how you do it. They never have an answer. They don't say teaspoon of this, they don't say teaspoon of that. They just say, taste it. Everyone's just made it so easy for us to cook these days. There's a packet for sinigang, there's a packet for tocino. Anything you wanna cook, here's your packet. Put water, throw the meat or veggies in there, and you're done. If I'm gonna go to a restaurant, they're just gonna cook with packets, I'll just do it myself at home. But what our thinking is, we want you to know what it tastes like with real tamarind, with properly marinated tocino. Like we make our, our spam from scratch. We make our longanisa from scratch. We even make banana ketchup from scratch. All the sauces, everything we can possibly do, Packet free. You know, I grew up watching like some of my cousins and one of my uncles and my mom pretty much cook for me and all my cousins and it's great, you know, they come into my place and we're cooking for them now. So every part of this restaurant has been thought to let people know what the culture is all about. We try to pick foods that are just like all different kinds of flavors, sour, spicy, sweet, savory. So everyone finds their favorite. The vibe in here, you know, it's just kind of like you're in the islands, just relax. And this is just how the Filipino people are. Just super friendly, nothing too serious. It's just a good time. And that's that's kind of how we modeled, you know, our restaurant. Before I was in school, I would wait until this, the kids would come out and I would go gather all my toys, my Transformers, my G.I. Joes, and I'd line them up on the sidewalk so that when they pass by, it'd catch their eye and they'd come and play with me. What's happening is that that's kind of translating to what we're doing now. I have all these flavors, all these foods that I just love, and I just want to share with everybody, and this restaurant is, is kind of the same thing.